What's up everyone and welcome back to the Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough on Xbox One X. I'm Campaign Poppy, thank you so much for coming along. We're gonna, I was gonna pick up on the story, but this little strange question mark is tempting me, so I'll go see what's going on. If it's something lame, we'll just go and return. I think we'll do the John Marsden quest, but we'll see. As always, thank you so much for joining me. You can ask what you want. You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be gentle. Jeremiah Compson. Compson stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. What did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. All dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson Stead, so north of. Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. How far away is it? No, oh, hell no. Not in the mood for that right now. There he is. Hey, out of the way. I'm on a tight schedule. He climbs stairs very easily. I think we'll do the John Marsden quest. Just because I like John Marsden, we have a pass together. People are so sensitive in this game. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Get up. I feel like I left like 15 feet in the air right there. It's a waypoint, so I don't get myself in trouble. Oh, I was actually going the right way. I literally have a bounty everywhere. Can I help you? Well, looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. Fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, man. That guy looks sad. All right. Oh, yeah, isn't this where he burnt down the fields? Probably. Have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. 
Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. A hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. Damn. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. Uh oh. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Hell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. God, we're just stealing everything. From everyone. Yeah. Move it up. Go on. Mm -hmm. oh, John's horse is huge. This is gonna be an epic battle eventually, where both families just have a battle royale. Right uh, I'm glad I could fool. start it. If he only knew we just torched his tobacco crop. That was you? The old man was cursing the Braithwaite's about that. Burning rich folks' property? Sean was like a pig in shit. I'm sure. Five thousand for horses. They must be rich. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. But we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Boy, too many questions. John almost clotheslined himself there. Watch it! Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. That was way too Someone easy. Come see ya. I like how John just knows where to go. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. Oh, my horse is dirty. Oh my God, hurry up. Let me do the talking. Uh, 
Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These are mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. That's so. Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here is Cerberus. I like that name. Cerberus is a real reliable. <laughs> Got greaser, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. <laughs> Relax, boy. Come on. That's a pretty ass boy. horse. Easy now. Easy. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay, Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa! <laughs> it's okay, boy. Okay, this is not Austin, a good view for right me. Point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! <laughs> I did my son. Go, get out of here. I got what the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said, so am I allowed to shoot? Stop! Oh, bitch! Oh, okay. Why did it show red to me? It was weird. More coming this way. Out of the field. Where? How'd I miss that one? That was easy. Hey Morgan! Over here! You got him! Well done! Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, I could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Hey, hey! Man, my controller is vibrating like crazy. And I don't know why. Whoa! 
You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. This is a setup. Boys want. Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <laughs> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... I'd give you 654. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town? And maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. That was it, John. God, that was. Leave me arms spun us by one of that Gray family. Imagine we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. What did I do wrong this time? Probably headshots. Oh, I'm glad I did the John quest because it brings me back to all the other ones. Um. I think I'll replenish. I have a lot of money. What do I need to replenish? I restock the provisions, restock the arms. I feel like I have so much money I can uh, donate to camp and then I will make a couple improvements. I wish you could just put in how much you wanted to donate. That seems good. All right, now let's see what we can do. Improves overall mood. More room to hitch. Chill out and deciding what to buy. I'll get him this. He's been wanting it forever.
And let's see. But what does overall increasing the overall mood do? I'm going to be selfish and do this. Cool. I think that's enough good deeds for a day. I'm going to clean off my horse, take a little break. Thank you so much for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. This is Campaign Poppy, signing off.